Tyler, welcome to Reading Football Club. You've just put pen to paper, and how are you feeling now that you've uh, you've joined the club? Oh, I'm delighted to be honest. I mean, it's been it's been a while. It's been a long decision, but um, I'm finally here. You, you know, you were here as well on on Saturday. I know you were here for the two-all draw against Brighton. And, and what did you make of, of that game? Yeah, it was a good game. I think the boys did done well, and um, it was a good point out of the game. I think um, they tried to play in the right way, and they had a good result in the end there. Yeah, and, and like you say, they're playing the right way. That's yeah. often an attractive feature in a, in, a, in a football team that makes you kind of want to put the pen to paper. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the boys are trying the right things on the pitch, and that's all that counts. And to get a point out of it was good. And you got to meet the manager Yapstam after the game, and a union agent had a little chat with him. How did that meeting go? Yeah, it was um, it was nice to speak to him personally, and just to sort of hear from him himself and how he wants to do things and what he's seen for me for the future as well, which was good. We, we spoke to Liam Moore after he signed in the, in the week about, uh, and he mentioned how big a decision uh, it was to leave that club and, and that Yapstam had been a big influence on him joining here, I guess, as a, someone who grew up at United, probably the same, but you've heard loads about the manager already. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, growing up, obviously, at United, you see like videos of him playing and how he was when he was there. So it was obviously a big influence me choosing the step to come there. And of course, it is a big decision, though, to, to leave the club. You, you kind of, you know, on your doorstep where you grew up, and the club you've been out of for a long time. So, I guess this isn't a, not a decision you've you've made lightly. Something you've had to consider long and hard. No, definitely. I mean, it's been ongoing throughout the summer. Really, I've sort of thought about it, and for me, I believe it's the right step to be here now, and it's the right time in my career. Well, you say right time in your career. You're a young man. You want to be playing regular football, and I guess that's what you'll be targeting here with Reading and, and taking the club forward. No, definitely. I mean, I just want to play under a great manager as well, and obviously to get games here is an opportunity for me, which I'm looking to do well. So it's good. You've had a little bit of a taste of the, of the championship already. You had loan spells with, with uh, Blackpool and Birmingham, so you know a little bit about the kind of rough and tumble of the championship, and you know that every point matters, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I mean, being at them two clubs, I had a bit of a taste for it and obviously now I'm back here so it's a chance for me to show what I can do. And and you know, on what you can do, tell us a little bit about your playing style as a defender. I mean, we, when we spoke to Liam Moore as well in the week he, he said that he's a sort of player who loves, just wants to keep the ball out of the net and I suppose as a defender that's a, that's kind of where you'll be as well. Yeah I mean definitely as a defender that's the main thing to keep the ball out of the net and help the team to defend well and obviously to help start attacks as well which is always a good thing. Yeah, and starting attacks, I know the manager likes his players to be comfortable in possession and do you think that's a strength in your game too? Yeah, definitely. I think I'm very comfortable with the ball at my feet, but also without the ball as well, so I think I can be good in both sides of it. Mm. You, you probably have met one or two of the lads before, I know you've obviously come through the ranks of the England youth squad, as uh, quite a few of our players have now, so I suppose you've crossed paths with a few of them. Yeah, I mean, definitely through the England setup, there's a few boys which I've played with, like sort of John Swift and um, uh, Jonathan Bond. Me and more played a game with Fosso, so there's uh, a few boys which I've known throughout the years, around really, yeah. Yeah, and uh, as you say, I mean George Evans too. He grew up on the other side of Manchester. Yeah. You've had a few little battles with him, but finally you're going to be put on the same clicket together. Yeah, definitely. I mean, George, me and George have played together, played against each other for a number of years, and now we're going to be on the same team, which is a good thing. And I guess you know this week you know, you're not going to be eligible in time for the for the cup match in midweek, but uh, you know you've got a chance to to meet the lads in training, you know, work hard with them, and, and you know hopefully be involved as soon as possible. No, oh, definitely that's the aim to get in amongst the lads and just to enjoy it and now kick on for the, for the rest of the season. Mm. I guess it's nice in a way that this move is a permanent deal, it gives you the chance, you know, obviously those moves you've had before have been low moves and I guess you don't really kind of bed in quite as uh, permanently if you like, it, whereas this is like, you know, a real chance to kind of be part of something going forward. Yeah, definitely, I mean, it's a different focus going forward now and it's something which I'm looking forward to. And, and kind of yeah, looking on you know the duration of your, of your contract. I know we all want success. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but uh, I guess that's why you've come here. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely. I mean, obviously, success it takes time and it's a, a team effort and something which we all got to put together. It's not going to come in a day or a week. It's going to be over time. So hopefully, we can all achieve that together and hopefully develop as well at the same time as a, as a player and and help help the club in that way too. No, definitely. I, mean, I think under the staff and the manager. And obviously the players in the team, I think we're all going to develop and improve our own game. Well, Tyler, thank you very much for taking the time to talk and a very warm welcome again. Thank you. Thank you.